Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a very interesting video. Um, if you guys are seeing this, it didn't get taken down and it didn't get demonetized like I thought it was. Um, I've been procrastinating this video for the longest time just because of the topic. Because I was told by, well not really told personally obviously, a lot of YouTubers have been talking about how they, their videos could get demonetized or they have been demonetized because of like this word, you know, like, you know, the title of this video. I'm going to try not to say it too much throughout throughout the video, um, but you do know the topic obviously from the title. So basically we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories today. Not my forte. Don't really know. I'm not conspir I'm not making that a part of the channel now. But um, I thought it'd be a really fun video. I haven't seen anyone like even think about or even do anything like this. Like, so I was like, let's do it. Basically. So what I'm gonna be talking about is I've t talked to a couple of my friends and just basically are gonna talk about what people think that this um, virus is and where it came from. Because a lot of people think different things, like think differently than what the government is telling us. And who really knows, to be honest with you, I don't know, I really don't know. But these are what other people think, what my friends think, what we don't, what we're just guessing, like, is it, like, legitimate, like, don't actually think that what I'm saying is true, because it's not, it's probably not, most of it, it definitely isn't. Some of it's just funny things that I wrote down that I thought would just be, like, very funny, like, if it actually was like that. So I've got my handy dandy notebook, and I wrote down, like, a bunch of, uh, bullet points of just, like, what I think would be very funny to talk about. So, um... We're initially, I feel like, or what I was told at least, is that someone ate a bat in China. Like, someone in China, there was like an illegal meat market or something, and then someone ate a bat in China. And they were like, why not? Like, let's just fry it up and eat it. And then they got a, a disease from the bat or something, and then it like spread. Um, that is what I'm being told. So this next thing is something that like, I don't know, I don't really know how I feel about it, but like, I've heard plenty of people like say this. That, like, the government is using it to, like, do population control. And that, like, either they released it to do population control or that they're just, like, post... Like, they do have a cure for it, but they're postponing, like, putting it out. So then it would do population control and that, like... I don't really know. But, like, that it's doing something. And then they're doing something to, like, work with the population. Like, using it to use the... To make the population go down. I don't really know. Some people, a lot of people have been also saying that it will just like be here for a little bit and then it will just like poof, gone. Like disappear, like it will just be gone all of a sudden. But I've also heard like a lot lately that it will be, there will be another outbreak in fall that like we'll get rid of it in like the next month and then it will come back in like late fall. So that, that's, no, I'm not okay with that. Sorry, but no. Um, some people, I've also heard this and this kind of, I guess kind of could make sense. Is that it's just a version of the flu, but it just got worse and like worse and like because someone ate a bat, it just kind of like made the whole like vi made the flu into like a mutated thing because of the bat. Which I guess actually, honestly, it kind of makes sense. Like I feel like it that would make sense in my mind, but I don't really know what any of like the um, scientists and researchers and like whatever they're doing, the doctors. I don't know what they're getting, what they've learned. But this is what, this is what, I mean, that sounds like theoretically possible. Um, some people are saying that they think that this whole bat situation is false and that it was actually created in a lab. Which, I feel like, all again, could make sense. Like, I feel like someone definitely could make this in a lab. But, like, did they? See, that's the thing. Co conspiracy theories. Was it created in a lab? We really don't know. So I've also heard that some people are thinking that, like, this, we've already had an outbreak. This one's just a lot stronger and it's like spreading a lot quicker. Some people are talking about how they've already had, like some people have already had the coronavirus like forever ago, but it just was so toned down that you didn't notice and you couldn't tell, which kind of scares me because I was like, ooh, that's... Um, I'm, so the last two bullet points I have here is that the government released it, but we already kind of went over that, that like the government might have released it. I don't really know how I feel about that though because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the government is wouldn't want that but like you you don't really know you really don't know we really don't and i just want this to be over that's all i gotta say the last bullet point is my favorite bullet point because this is what i personally think it could be mutated okay it's gonna keep being mutated like 
for the next couple of years until we eventually get zombies. That's what's gonna happen, and if, I swear, if we end up with zombies, I... There's, okay, so, um, if you, comment down below if you've seen this show. It's called, um... Okay, so I can't remember what it was called. My hair's, like, kind of a mess, sorry. But, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it right here. But, it's, like, the show, and it's, like, about, um, like, this big bomb goes off, and then the, like, all the people over the age of, like, 18, I think, um, get, like, like basically turn into, like, zombies, and they, like, it's, it's weird. But then it's, like, all the teens left over, and I was, like, maybe that's when, what's gonna happen. But, like, they won't really turn into zombies. They'll probably just die or something. Or, like, I don't really know. But the coronavirus seems to only affect older people. And not, like, like teenagers and stuff with good immune systems. They're fine. And infants. Infants don't do well either, apparently. I think. I don't think. They do well. But, like, I think that maybe... What if we end up like that show? And we just, like... All the teens are just, like, left here and we're, like... That would be crazy. 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 I don't really know what this video is. It's very short. Um, but I'm done with this video. I literally have nothing else to talk about. So, I hope you enjoyed me talking about the coronavirus for, like, literally, like, five minutes. But, I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my vlog channel, too. I've been vlogging a lot lately. Give it a thumbs up. You know, the usual. Check out my social medias down below. I recently just made a TikTok for my YouTube channel with updates and behind the scenes and things like that. So you guys should definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Link is in the description. Last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, and have a good evening. Or just whenever you're watching this.